So hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all. Welcome to Soccer Hub Talks. My name is Ricardo Balbeira. I'm the CEO and founder of Soccer Hub. Uh, Soccer Hub is an online education platform for soccer analysts, soccer scouts, soccer coaches. Well, just visit us and um, get to know all, all of our courses and content. And please, uh, if you did anything, just ask to our uh, CRM. Um, so today, uh, we'll be talking about how important is soccer analysis in today's game. Um, soccer Hub has a lot of content about soccer analysis. So um, check us out. We'll be discussing during these one hour, one hour and a half, a bit uh, more about the importance of analysis and the relationship between the analyst and the coach. Okay. Before we start, I would like to ask you please to um, click on the like button if everything is okay with the audio and the video, please do it now. Click on the like button. Okay, thank you very much. Also, please introduce some information about yourselves on the chat, uh, such as the country that we are based in, also some information about your job, uh, so we can adapt a bit our conversation to your specific needs. Also, don't forget that this is a live event, so we will be able to ask questions to our speakers. Uh, we will select some of the questions so they can be asked both to Fernando or uh, Abel. So today, as I said, we'll be discussing how important is soccer analysis in today's game. And for that, we invited the B team coach at Shakhtar Donetsk, Fernando Valente, the soccer analyst at Sevilla, uh, FC Abel Pimenta, and to moderate the panel, as usual, Nuno Milheiro, our expert in soccer scouting. So I will introduce all of them in our conversation. Hello, Fernando. Hello, Abel. Hello, Nuno. Welcome. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Fernando. And thank you, Abel, for, for Guys, accepting. See you in a bit. See you in about one hour and a half. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Um, okay. Hello, all. First of all, thank you for being with us again um this week and uh, today we have two people that are very very special um, as always but two specialists on what they do very experienced and also uh, they are uh, references on the um, on what they do uh, we have today we are talking about the role um, <laughs> and the relationship between uh, a coach that in this case is fernando and also an analyst that is isabel and uh, that's what we've been talking today that will be the subject uh, i'm gonna do a bit of an introduction and as you usually know i'll speak a bit more than them in the beginning but you are here to listen to them not me so i'll be i'll try to be as brief as i can so today we have um, we have fernando Valent at a, as a large experience as a soccer coach and is a reference for many other coaches being respectful, uh, respected not only as a coach, but also respected uh, as a man in football, uh, with hard work, dedication, commitment, and especially loyalty. And um, because he thinks by his own head, he has his own ideas, and he's always open to share them. Since the beginning, he, and I appreciate and thank you again, Fernando. He accepted straight away, and um, because and it's people like that that we need that share what they think and their knowledge. Um, currently, works like Ricardo said as um, a soccer coach for the B team that is in this case under twenty one at Shakhtar Donetsk in Ukraine. Is a team head coach, and we also have a bell. At the same thing, thank you, Abel, for accepting also straight away. And uh, and then we have a curiosity that, that I'm gonna I'm gonna tell to people that are listening and watching all over the world that uh, was a coincidence. Uh, Abel is a soccer analyst with experience also as as assistant coach, so he's also assistant coach. He started very young. He's still young, but uh, he started very very young his career. Um, and is a big example of dedication, hard work, passion, obviously quality, because without the quality, you cannot achieve your goals. And uh, and one thing, he decided to go after his own luck and not just stay waiting, and, uh, and you can see the results. So he's a big example for the ones that want to become soccer analysts or anything else in life that um, his story 
you will have the chance to 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 tell a bit more and um and it was when when i met him i i i had the chance to to listen his story and uh, and that's the most amazing thing when when someone goes after his dream that i believe it was his dream and uh currently he works as an analyst and assistant at Sevilla uh, second team Sevilla B uh, but he worked also he got you're gonna have the chance to 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 talk also about his career so thank you again uh the curiosity is that uh they work together in a club in Portugal uh Club Desportivo das Aves is that correct um, so I'm gonna start being a bit cheeky and asking <laughs> how it was your relationship um, as a coach and analyst at the time or assistant and um, how it was if you can tell us and uh, or if you have uh, something interesting to share and uh, and if you can if you can talk a bit about that that experience we can start uh, with Fernando for example um how it was the experience uh, of working uh, with, with the bell at the same club at the same project yes okay thank you for uh, the invitation uh thank you everybody all, all around the world it's a new challenge for me it's the first time i speak uh, an interview in english because uh, my english is not so good but uh, but okay it's a challenge so when i arrived to ukraine is the same they want to to give me a, a translator but I have two assistants, young assistants that they speak uh, English, and I, I, okay, it's a challenge because I, I try to improve my, my English. Okay, uh, about the bell, the bell is, uh, is a good surprise. It's a good surprise to stay here with the bell because um, when I, I found him in uh, maybe seven years ago, maybe six, seven years ago, in Aves, uh, he's a young, uh, a young student, a young coach, uh, with a, a lot of, uh, of uh, necessity of, of learning, uh, asking, and is a uh, is a good a good surprise. And uh, I'm very very happy, very proud of about his, his career, about his uh, his life, because uh, and uh, and that is uh, professionalism and his competence. He's a great person, and uh, when we found in our life great persons. We must uh, keep them in our heart, and uh, Abel knows that uh, he, he have a space in uh, in my heart because we live together. Some moments, good moments, and the most important, we share uh, a crazy ideas about the game. Uh, I think uh, we can say that uh, because uh, our ideas about the game, the, the beauty of the game, the, the uh, is is something that uh, uh, we we feel that the. Uh, many people sometimes criticize the, these these ideas, but uh, I know that Abel and me, and we live uh, together in uh, with our team uh, some uh, good moments, and it's why we are here. And I'm very 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 glad and very proud of the, his his career, and uh, it was a pleasure to talk with him. I, I don't know, but it, it like, <laughs> some some years we we don't talk. Uh, and it's a new opportunity to to find uh, my friend. Okay. Thank you, thank you, Fernando. And uh, what about you, Abel? And uh, and please, please, because I believe at that moment, uh, of course, Fernando already had a long career and experience, and you had a lot of respect for him, as I know. Was it hard sometimes? be honest work with him or it was always good <laughs> this is me trying you know i'm totally yeah, to say nice right. things yeah yeah please be be honest be honest be honest, be honest well, yeah. first be of honest. all first of all no no many thanks for the invitation uh my english is not uh, is average so i say sorry to everyone for that but i'll give my best and i think that uh, with uh, with mr valent we, we, we will have a good talk about football and thanks to you nono for uh, for the opportunity for for the opportunity to, to be in a space with a person that was so much important for me in my development in my uh, in my career because because of something very important and mainly in in analyst that is the way you see the game in the concepts that you that you have to understand the game 
And for me, uh, Mr. Valent was a very, very important person, uh, mainly in the offensive phase of the game, because he's a person that, uh, that in the offensive process, gives you and passes to me uh, concepts that were very important, that were crucial to me, and that uh, until today I use it, and I, uh, and that's it. They were so much important to me. From Mr. Valente, I, uh, I, uh, the the image that you see, it's a person that is always ready to share, ready to 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 discuss ideas, and for that reason, uh, we in the technical staff always have moments where we where we um, we could agree or not with with the ideas that we are, we are talking about. But the main idea of the discussions of talking about football and ideas about football, that's the key point that make us uh, all progress. And in my case, it was fundamental to my understanding of the game and mainly in the offensive game uh, phase of the game, in the concepts that it passed to me that were uh, very important in my career. Thank you, Abel, and um, and thank you to Fernando because uh, I think you agree, Abel. If it's it's people, if there was no people like Fernando, ready to share, you know, open to share, we couldn't learn. You know, it was much harder uh, to learn. So it's it's always good, you know, like to to have people. And thank you, thank you for that, Fernando. So that was like just a bit for people to understand also the relationship you had and uh, working in the same project. So, Fernando, let's go back to you. So, can you tell us a bit a bit more, uh, if you tell us a bit more about your experience, your, your, your history in football, when it came also across the first time, because you started, uh, well, you are young, but uh, you, you already have experience. Uh, but uh, you start, when it came across to you, the, the match analysis, because I believe in the, in the old times when you started, it wasn't so popular um, to analyze um, or the opponents or the or the team. We are going to talk about that. If you can, um, if you can talk a bit more about that and uh, when uh, when it was the first time that uh, you started to use more the analysis or or heard about it. Okay, I'm I'm old guy. When I saw so much young uh, coaches talking about analysis and about football. I'm a, I'm an old guy, but uh, but my problem is uh, always uh, be be uh, to say wake up about new 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 ideas, uh, new new technologies, and uh, the most important for me is listen and try to understand if these new ideas. Are able available for uh, for me for improve my 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 work, but uh, it's true. It's a long time when I begin my career. As you know, I I'm a professional player uh, of soccer, of football, and uh, at the same times I I play professional football uh, 15 years 15 years and I play futsal another 15 years because I have. Uh, in my methodology and with the, the the importance of futsal is very important. But uh, as you as you you say, uh, when I begin my career, the, the analysis is not so important. We try to always try to to know something about the opponent, but uh, it's not easy. It's why for me, even today, uh, I must uh, focus myself in in the the, the performance of my team. I mean, in helping my players understand in the game, and one of the the most important, even even today, one uh, of the most important uh, moments when we begin our game is the five, the, the first five minutes, five ten minutes. Why? Because um, even we when we analyze the opponent, many times we need to make our own analysis uh, in the moment because. Um, Many times and now it's so easy to, to take a lot of information of the opponent, and many times the, the players are not prepared uh, for uh, for take advantage of this information. And I think many times the most important is when the game begins, we understand what's what's happened around us. 
It's one of the things that uh, I always tell to my players when we begin. Uh, long time ago is the same, and now even now, even knowing the, the many things about the opener, uh, I think it's important uh, the the analysis in the in the beginning of the game because uh, try to understand what kind of game the 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 opponent do, uh, the direct opponent of uh, of the players, what kind of uh, of uh, uh, skills the, the the opponent have. And I think uh, this is a way that, uh, for me, like a coach, understand most of the dynamic of the, the, the other team. If they play long, if they play short, uh, if they press me in, uh, in the, the first phase, if they're waiting for me, it's, 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 it's very important. So, uh, what I can I, I say is, when I begin my career, I don't give more, a lot of importance of, of, the, of the opening. Why? Because I think... Uh, the most important is uh, help the players to understand what's, what's happened around us. Uh? What do you see in this moment, or in each moment of the game? And uh, your vision and your capacity uh, for uh, your understanding of the moment, it, uh, it means that you are prepared for, uh, for uh, try to, 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 to say to solve the problems of the game. And many times uh, this knowledge is most important than the knowledge about the opponent. Because uh, we must invest more in my my my, in my work, I, I I give more importance for the, the helping the, my players to understand all the, the the details about the the game than about the the opponent. Why? Because when when you have uh, when you are competent uh, in the, and you are prepared to understand in the vesicle of the game, I think the opponent is not important. And many times, uh, on the other side, I think that uh, when we give a lot of, of information for, to some players about the opponent, I think they are not confident about his, uh, his, uh, his way of playing, his, his, his skills, his, uh, his improvement. Uh, and uh, some, some, uh, some players lost confidence when we talk a, a lot about, uh, about uh, the opponent. I know that uh, this is my way of, of, of seeing the, these kind of things. I know that many, many, many other coaches, and I respect, they always work uh, in the in the open, try to 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 broke uh, or to fight against the 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 open. But my vision is not is is mostly try to help the players understand the game and understand the way the way they can face the the problems of the open. Then give us a lot of importance. I believe always in my players. Uh, and this is kind of of relations that uh, I begin to build in in my teams. Uh, it takes a long a long time ago, and uh, and with time, yes, when they are more confident, uh, most of the times they are prepared to to solve the problems of the opener. So is what I'm I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to tell is uh, we don't have analysis when I begin. Uh, we know something maybe. Uh, I remember one case. I I talk with some coaches, uh, friendly coaches. They give me some information about uh, some uh, some uh, opponent uh, in this uh, in this time. But most of the times, I'm focused myself on my team in, in in our in our performance and our way of of playing and our ideas. And and uh, I think is enough for many times for solve the problems of the opponent. This is my vision about uh, about situation. That's great. Thank you, Fernand, for the, for the amazing answer, and uh, and I agree completely with you. And uh, of course, both together, analysis are important. But of course, uh, like like you said, it's it's very very important to be focused on, of course, on your team. Just uh, before I go to Abel, I, we have a question here also for you, Fernando. I think it's it's a bit, it's related with this from uh, Mario Spanich. Um, how do you measure, Fernando, the quality? of a football analyst knowing that two people can watch the same situation in a game and have completely different view on it. This is, um, yeah, Mario. Uh, yes. Thank you, Mario, think, for the question. Yeah. Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, I think it's a good question because uh, this is the main, the main question, the main question, uh, that about uh, what I think about uh, analysts because analysts and I think uh, well want to talk about that uh, the eyes of analysts 
must be the eyes of the coach. And many times uh, the coach see one thing and the anal analyst see another thing. Uh, it's funny because uh, in these these days of quarantine, I receive a lot of uh, invitations and I talk with a lot of people and some uh, some young coaches. They give they send me some uh, analysis about my team. It's amazing. Uh, I like it. and it's amazing for me what they they saw about my team uh, because I don't see the same. And this this is why uh, even in Portugal who knows me know that uh, many times I, I talk about the quality of, of the game. Mm -hmm. And many times we are so so focused in and understanding and then uh, analyze some situations of, uh, of the of the certain game, or even uh, of, of my team. But the most important for me is uh, what I'm trying to, to, to show that my, my players can do in, in certain moments. And the, 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 my vision, most of the times, is different about the vision of the analyst. Eh? Because uh, many times I'm focused in the place of the ball. Normally, I'm focused about balance and the place where is the ball. How can I solve the problems in the ball? And many analysts and many young coaches send me some, some reports. They ask me about the position of the players. Why uh, your number six or number eight is in, in this part? Uh, you don't, why you stay there? When, I don't care about the, the, the name or the face of the players. I only care about uh, what's happened around the, the, the ball. It means that, uh, that uh, uh, we are always different. And it means why I think that even when I know all about the opener, all about the opener, uh, is not uh, many times is not uh, enough for control uh, the other team because uh, the game uh, is always different all situations are always different and uh, the the difference between uh, between the the games we we cannot control that and but i think that many 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 guys tell and many coaches tell many analysts tell that it's important because we can control no we can control uh, we can control some details but game uh, give give you you give you in all moments different situations with with the, the different ways of of, of solving the problem uh, thank it you. is most thank important my, my players are prepared uh, to find the best the best answers for this kind of, uh, of problem, this is most important. And Be this ready. Will, it depends. It depends if my players have the vision of this situation of this problem uh, similar or like the vision we trained before. Uh, and this is, I think, is uh, the, the the most important the main, yeah. main, uh, the main uh, work of the, of the, the 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 coach is try. To make the players understand that yes, in this situation you can do this, this, this. But you choose uh, in your moment. You must choose what's uh, in your in your opinion. What is the the the, the better? And I, and the, it's why I think that uh, the way we 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 face the game is always different, and we must understand that. Thank you, thank you, Fernand, for for sharing that. Well, let's go to to the expert now in analysis. He's, he's been analyzing again now, so all this time so far, <laughs> taking some notes. I saw it because it's it's already part of your job, no? And uh, and they are more used to that than. Uh, but but you are here to share also as much knowledge as you can because you are brilliant brilliant on what you do. So tell us please a bit also about um, your story and also. Um, a bit about how you decided to to become if it was your first choice to become an analyst how it came across to you uh, what was the process and um and a bit of the places where you've been working because you had you had different experiences of course like all of us but uh, interesting experiences well no no the the origin the origin of my interest for the analysis or for be or in the coach has to be for the, the passion that you have for football. And, and um, that's the start of everything, your passion for, for football. Uh, 
Therefore, I started to my to study in the University of uh, Sports from Porto, and I I uh, I do my uh, my degree in in uh, in sports science with specialization in football training. Then my my uh, my project, my career, as we talked before, uh, started in as analyst in the in the under 17 of FC Porto with Professor Jose Guillerme, que, that was to a very important a very important person for me in my development as a coach, as an analyst. Then I was with Mr. Fernando Valente, and then it's and then I I uh, that's a story may, that could be more interesting for the one that is that are watching us. That is the opportunity uh, to start work uh, in, in Spain in La Liga in Celta de Vigo, and uh, with uh, Eduardo Berizzo. And the story the story begins with a simple email. I sent him an email. Uh, that why uh, uh, trying or uh, telling him that I will be interested in uh, in watch some uh, trainings from uh, from the Celta de Vigo, and he is a very open mind person like uh, Mr. Valente. He was a lot of time uh, assistant coach of Marcelo Bielsa, so he's kind of a very open person and always a person that is always ready to share into. To, uh, to discuss ideas of total and, 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 uh, and of training. So he accepted the, the, the challenge, the idea. I, I, I went to Vigo during a week to see the trainings and at, at the final of a training session, he, he comes to me and we, in, I enter to, to his room and we start talking about football and about uh, training. And in that conversation, he understood that I that I have some experience uh, in the in the analysis, uh, the experience that I was gaining with uh, Mr. Valente and uh, in FC Porto. And he asked me to do a, a, a job or analysis of the next the next opponent for the next week. That was Villarreal. I remember I remember it like it was uh, yesterday. But uh, next week I uh, we I have a, a meeting with him. I presented the ideas about the next opponent, and uh, he liked it. And the story begins a little bit from that. And uh, obviously that are uh, another uh, capitals of the story. Or uh, but uh, the the story begins in that moment. And uh, uh, as you said, I'm. I think I could. I'm not an example, but I, I, I think I could be like a, some inspiration to another, to other coaches and other young coaches that are uh, searching for an opportunity in football professional. And uh, the advice that I give to, the advice I, that I could give to them is to, to, to study the game, to be proactive, to, to look for new solutions in solutions that could make uh, technical staff uh, better and with uh, and uh, uh, with uh, capacity to to show different things capacity to be a different different uh, to differential um it depends depends the context what's the the phrase the, the capacity to show something different that could uh, could be Differenti uh, differentiated differentiated from from the others it's like that's it yeah. that's it that's the idea and uh, for and my my travel in spain begins in that way with berizo and we travel together after two year, two fantastic years in europa league and la liga to we travel together to civil in Sevilla, I uh, I worked too with uh, with Joaquin Caparros, with Vincenzo Motella, an Italian coach. Then I wa I went to Paraguay, and uh, after that experience, I I went back to Sevilla, the, to the moment that we we are now. That's great. What was the other qu question, Nuno? Uh, uh, 
it was it was basically what was that when if okay. it was your first choice to become to become a coach or analyst if it was that and uh, it's also interesting and you said you touched the point that uh, i think it's very important that uh, many people think that um, it's it's almost um, impossible to achieve or to to contact people from football usually i say that the ones that it's the case of both of you i con i, I contact, uh, contacted you both uh, doing this invitation you know and uh, you were very open for it so people should try you know there is of course not everybody is open to to share experiences but usually the ones with the knowledge and they they are sure about their work they are open to help also the others that want to come to football and to bring something to the sport that we love and not just take you know also bring new ideas and uh, and you are example both of you are examples and like fernando said he's always open for new ideas and uh, we don't know everything so yeah so people just give it a try because uh, because people from football are normal people you know <laughs> like everybody else and no no, uh, no, no. allow yeah. me just to to reflect a little sure. bit on the 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 thing that was telling us uh, the the coach valente that's why i was taking some notes because they are so much important because for me uh, i think that this is a key point there is and i'm sure that me, the coach agrees with me for us, uh, we build teams through ideas, through concepts. And at the moment that we understand that the ideas and for to attack, to defend, for transitions are uh, the basis to develop a, a process or a game process, you need to analyze them. And in that way, it appears the importance of an analyzing your own team. And inside of that analysis of your own team that is so much important and for me is, I think it's, it's the most important because what was told in Mr. the coach Valent was, my team has this scenario or this context. What solutions have my team to, for example, uh, uh, talking about a practical situation, my team has a role. The opponent is positioned in a certain way. How I, as a team, have resources or solutions, tools to create disorder on the, the opponent? How do I uh, create this organization, the opponent, with the ball? And for me, the, the, in, in here we touch to in the very important point for me that is sometimes we made a mistake that is like we separate what is the analysis of our own team of the analysis of the opponent that should be something always connected because when i talk to my players in sevilla about uh, a context that the opponent will show to us or or in theory must uh, uh, will uh, uh, show to us what I try to do with my team is what the coach Valente was talking about, is that the players understand the context, the situation, and which tools, which resources have us as a team in offensive phase, for example, to exploit that space or to exploit that situation. Understanding too that the game is not, uh, the game is not static, the game is out something very dynamic that sometimes the space will be inside other times the space the space will be outside other times the space will be on the back of the defense but i as a team me as a team we need to have resources that allow us to exploit any one of that context and for me that's why the coach valent told talk about a lot about that about me, my team has to be prepared for every context. And independently of the context that the opponent shows to me or is, or, or, is, or, or, uh, is facing to me, I as a team, we as a team have resources to, to, uh, to create, to, to exploit that spaces, to exploit that abilities. That's it. That's that's true. Thank you, thank you, Abel. Thank you for for that sharing. And I think there we had a question from Ivan, 
but I think you already answered basically. Thank you, Ivan, for the question. So Abel already answered to everything that is in there. And um, this is interesting because this is uh, soccer of talks, is not the interviews. This is talks where we share we share ideas. And sometimes, of course, uh, we have we have some questions, but uh, um, we go to you know depending on what we are talking, we we it's dynamic because it's interesting the points that that we touch. And um, I had a question in here to to Fernando that uh, that he already answered the importance of the analysis, but um, but I'll I'll ask two things. That is. Um, First, first thing, you touched a very, very important point aspect that, in my opinion, um, to be to be very honest, I don't remember uh, to listen it, and I always thought about it in 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 a very important way. In these days, we talk a lot about analysis. We think statistics, whatever it is, analyze everything. And Fernando said one thing many times when he shows to their, their players. To, to his player, sorry, the opponents, they get an idea or they get scared or, or they get an idea, like we say, like, like uh, I'm, I'm also, you know, we are three different generations, but uh, but I'm also from old generations. So I remember when I used to play, we used to say, Fernando, and, they, and you remember, when we were warming up, we were looking to the opponents warming up and we already watching them. And some of us, if we we didn't have a mental structure that was strong, we could be already thinking, oh, they, let's say, for example, we are playing a team from Germany, let's say, they physically they are stronger, we know. So so maybe that's why you don't show everything to your players. And that's that's a very interesting aspect because you need to know, to understand a lot a lot of, of our players. And, uh, and the, the, the question, is um for you how do you like the information because uh, from the analyst let's say that abel is doing because i believe only a percentage of abel if you can if you can um, confirm only a small percentage of your massive work <laughs> maybe is going to be used and you are prepared for that you know you, you do a, a huge work and maybe only certain things are used by by the coach and Fernando, how do you like the information from the analyst? Do you like long reports? Do you like short reports? Do you like um, very straight to the point information, uh, specific things? Um, how do you like the information? If you, of course, if you can share with us. You know, uh, we know that uh, when we normally we we ask for the analyst uh, to make uh, short short uh, videos of short information. Uh, about uh, the four moments or five moments of the game uh, to understand uh, some some details, some patterns, or some uh, some tasks that the opponent can can earn us or can can create problems, but always with with short uh, short uh, moments. Many times I ask for my analyst uh, one one whole game for the, during the the, the week. Uh, I normally. I in some in some situations I like to see a full game of, of, of the my the open sometimes because uh, when they cut the, the moments they they think but uh, normally I, I I like to to, to see a normal game uh, of the open because uh, I take some 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 details that many times the analyst can 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 give importance but it, it's only for myself to to analyze some 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 dynamics, some some situation. But normally, I ask for my analyst is uh, short videos, and I, I saw I showed my players in the in the in the end of the week, and uh, before the the last train of the week, I I try to 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 take all the information, even with set pieces, and make uh, to to prepare the players for for some some positions, but is enough but the most important for me is normally i analyze my game last game and i prepare my my week about the the things i think is 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 important to improve uh, uh, when when, I, when we we saw the, the last game this is the main the main importance for me uh, but when we 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 take a opponent that normally normally or is uh, 
is a, a strong opponent or is is a, discussed with us the the, the, the table. Uh, we try to, to, to make something more. But uh, as I say, the most important for me is uh, the relation my players do in the game, the, the understanding of the, the best way to, to face some problems. Uh, and uh, all the analysis we do is always in two ways. Yes, prepare the game, but most of the part, the, the, the most of the, most of the most important for me many times is take these uh, these uh, these situations for prepare my players for future situation uh, it means that if we find a, uh, a team that they have uh, one guy is so fast in the side maybe a winger is so fast yes the most important is not to solve the problem of his winger of this game most important is try to tell my players look in another situation when we we find uh, another winger a fast winger you must pay attention, be patient, uh, uh, wait for the cover, uh, pay attention for the supports, give me the the, 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 out, the side, uh, some details. Why? Because uh, in any situation, maybe in the analysis, in second half, they put uh, a fast winger. Huh? Because it's not in the analysis, because we can we can make uh, substitutions and we can change the the, the, the game with, uh, with the, the substitutions. It means that my 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 team and my player, the direct the direct uh, uh, opponent, uh, must be prepared to 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 know how to deal with this kind of, of situation. That's why for me this is most important. Take analysis, yes, some details about uh, preparing the, the, the game, but one side of the, the analysis is always prepare the player for the future. For me, is always important because in any moment we must be be able. To uh, to face this kind of, of situation, and it means that when when like me I I improve players, I'm I'm trying to to prepare players for the first team for the professional professional championship. They must have this kind of knowledge about the his his position, a knowledge about the game, a knowledge about his profession, and uh, and this is most important. This kind of uh, of target uh, they they achieve to to be more prepared. To be uh, uh, a real, a real and a competent uh, um, professional uh, player, this is most important for me. Thank you, Fernando. And I think that's that's very interesting and important because you are not only preparing, like you said, that match. You are preparing next matches, and you are also teaching players for their career. For for many mm -hmm. times, they are not anymore with you, and they will really remember. The things yes. you've been teaching—that's that's very very, you know, important because some some coaches only only teach for that game. So we have a question in here. Uh, I can ask this this one to to Abel. Abel, do you think that, uh, from Danny James Walker? Danny, hello, Danny, and thank you for your question. Um, do you think that the analysis are taking more seriously in some in more countries than others, uh, or it's the um, or it's something that the coaches are still learning about it. Hello, Danny. Thanks. Thank you for for the question. More countries than others. Well, for, in my uh, for my experience, and and for is for that experience that they could talk in Portugal in Spain are uh, two countries that uh, the coaches, the analysts, the technical staffs are. People that try to understand the game uh, very deeply are, pers are people that try to understand the game in detail. Some coaches go more for the offensive phase of the game, some more for the defensive phase of the game. But normally, the analysts and the coaches are persons that have a very good understanding of the game. And that I think that's a... a, a, a strongness a strong uh, key, uh, key point of the portuguese and spanish schools that allows uh, uh, many of the success that we 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 know uh, in talking specifically about analysis i think that that is something that is in relation because if we know that our team is built through ideas if you if the if the the coach is a person that 
demands that knowing that uh, knowledge about the game, the analysis it will be uh, as a consequence something important. And I could talk for Portugal and Spain and for Italy. For example, for example, Vincenzo Bontella was a coach that uh, gave so much importance to, to the analysis. And uh, maybe some years ago, we could think that the Italian coaches are uh, very focused in defensive organization. And I could uh, talk that Vincenzo was an Italian coach of a new era, a era that uh, give a lot of importance to the offensive organization of the game. And uh, therefore, the, the analysis were very important in, in different ways. Talk, talking a little bit about the question that we, uh, uh, the, the cultural end was, was talking before. Uh, and uh, I think that is two or, three, two or three key points that I would like to touch. It has to be, we live in an era and for the analyst, the, the, the analyst, that's, that's a key point. We live in an era that we have a lot of information. We pass through a situation that we doesn't have so much information, so so much information, and nowadays we have an amount of information. It's a madness of information. And for me, we here we touch again in something that we talked before, that has to be to look to the game through the eyes of the coach or try to have one eye of the coach and one, one eye of, your, of your, yours. And in that way, the way you analyze the game must be uh, the, the, you must prioritize in the game, in your analysis, the, the points that are important to your coach. Let me give you a practical example. If I am seeing an opponent and my team is a team that in the first phase of build up, uh, plays directly, I don't need to see, uh, maybe the spaces are not so important. What I need to see is maybe the, the central backs, how, they, how are they in the duels, how they are positioned for the second ball, and with that information, I think I have some the key information. If my team is a team that in the first phase of build-up wants to build up from the back with a supported progression, with uh, uh, a supported, with short passes, maybe the spaces that uh, the spaces that are free are, or the way they press are aspects that you should pay attention. Because therefore, the way you play or the way the coach wants to play will, will uh, direct you to a way of analyzing or another way of analyzing. So in that moment, you, you need to prioritize and to elect which are the key points for your game idea. Because if you play in a certain way, some points are important. And if you play in a direct way, other points are not so, so important. And another topic that I think is too, too much important is related with, with uh, for me, an analyst, uh, for me, an analyst must be a person that uh, propose solutions. For me, an analyst that describe this team, uh, this team press in that way and defends in low block, okay. But give me solutions for me because I as a coach need solution to how I face, how, we, how, how I will face that situation. Okay, they press with with uh, the 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 winger jump jumps and leaves space outside. Maybe you can connect with a, a, a player inside to go again outside. You know, the the analyst must be a person that is always not only describing behaviors or uh, uh, principles of the opponent, but also giving solutions to the coach of how I will, how the team will uh, will uh, overcome that uh, problems that the opponents will face them. And for that situation that the coach was telling too, because you have the other part too, that is how will you communicate to the players and to the team the understanding of that context? Because in that situation, you have that problem, how we will solution it or what, which solution do you have for that problem? 
Yeah. Uh, I think we we'll, are oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm back. And also, therefore, everything is uh, in, a perma in, in a permanent uh, relation. All, everything is connected. We cannot separate the things like because that's not a reality. Exactly. So, so, so basically, like you said, you provide solutions. So you do, you give a report with the solutions also to to fight that that weaknesses that the opponent uh, have. But a very synthesized report, of course, a small of report with key ideas, key ideas related related to the to the way that our play, our team plays, the way that the coach is the game. Because I will say before. One solution for me, or in Sevilla, maybe is not a solution for Mr. for the coach Valentin Shakhtar because the way of playing of each team is maybe different. That's so the principle. Yeah, that's why your our team in the yeah. solutions that you give, everything is in relation. Everything is connected. For sure. So do you just just uh, quickly before we go to Fernando again? Do you do you agree that uh, only a small percentage of all the work you do? on a weekly basis is mainly you need to to to, to make it very very short maybe you maybe you need a lot of information just to gather the information that is important do you think it's like that or or, or not sorry no no i, I don't understand the question okay. Can you repeat? yeah yeah sure so so you agree that um for all let's say a week a weekly process okay we are ready in the season a weekly process do you think that from a, a big pile of work you need to, to make it very short and only a small percentage of your work in the end will be passed to to the coach yeah 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 because uh, as we were were talking before the the way we talk about the whole opponent is something we must we must be very sensible yeah because in some times uh, that information must be given in another situation the the information uh, i will not give the information because i don't see it so much important it depends on the context in the context depends on the situation depends in so much factors but for me, there, there is a key, a, quick, a key question that is, when I talk about the opponent, I talk about the opponent as a, as a, a problem. The opponent will face to my team a problem. I, in, in, I try to connect what is the open always with our team. Yeah, I think we lost. Sorry, no, that's okay. And, that's okay. And we need to 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 the the key point is my team will face that situation, that problem. We as a team, which tools, which resources, which principles have as a team to exploit that situation, to 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 exploit that space. So everything is connected. I I don't talk the, about the opponent, about the opponent himself, because we see it. We see it as the, the team must see that as a as a context, as a problem, and and how we as a team have or not solutions, resources to exploit that situation or to defend it. Obviously, that that, that are the, the two ways in that in that process. Thank you, thank you, Abel. Um, so Fernando, do, do you do you think the question for you? So before in these days, of course, analysis are very, very important. Um, also, because in the old times, as you remember, pretty much the teams were not having so many transfers. Even the coaches were staying longer in the clubs. So we remember, for example, let's say in the 90s or 2000s, we all remember the teams. Usually they were playing all season in the same system. They were playing with the same players. Uh, do you think in these days was completely impossible for a manager to know the team? And also the question after goes to Abel, because many times for sure he faces a team that in the first half of the season they play one, one style or they change the manager, they play another style 
or they buy five, six players in the winter market, they change completely. So do you think, Fernando, that that um, all those changes that football, that came to football, uh, made the necessity of having more people analyzing and providing information to the coach? Or do you think it doesn't make sense? I think that uh, we must understand that information is not knowledge. We must transform the information in knowledge. And uh, many times, uh, I don't care about some information. I use uh, uh, the best information uh, for to to improve my knowledge. And sometimes some information I don't want some some information. And uh, I think that uh, we we forget many times, uh, and it's why. I'm, uh, I, I used to criticize many, many situations on football because the quality of the game is shit. Uh, the, why? Because I'm so worried about the opener, I forget to put my players and my team playing well. Uh, and uh, this is, for me, the most important. Most important is my team, is my, is my, uh, my players. And the way I play, the way I build my idea, the way I, I build the dynamic of my, my, my team, yeah, I need the opener. I give you an example. I need the pressure of the opener. Many times I want the pressure of the opener. Why? Because in this moment I wait for the open with his pressure to take advantage of it. And it's why for me, I used to say when I have a good team that give me a lot of work and this is a good team, yes, it's a party day for me because because it's a way to 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 tell my players that this is with against good teams that we we can improve eh? and we must be prepared and most most of the times we are prepared because uh, many times I ask I ask the I ask uh, the analysis and many 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 coaches uh, friendly coaches I, I in the, normally in the championship eh? you 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 saw many teams doing different things there are uh, some some teams that yes hey th these guys are amazing they they have a dynamic i never see no it's always the same huh? it's always the same and for me i i i think in my <laughs> i i my five minutes in the beginning of the game is enough many of the times it's enough because is is the pattern of the football most of the dynamic of the football in an offensive way they 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 finish in the side with cross i'm prepared 28 uh, years, uh, years uh, preparing for the crosses of the side. Uh, nothing changed. But when I saw one team that, yes, he build, he makes the build up, he, he, he play together and go to my to to my to my uh, box uh, and and go inside my box. Yes, this is a good team. But most of the times, what kind of analysis we can do? Yes, long ball, long ball crosses. Yes, I know that my players must be prepared for the for the long ball. It's it's not uh, it's not uh, difficult, and it's why many times we pass all the time to control and to see, and the, uh, I don't Sound see nothing advantage. nothing different. And it's why many, I, I'm uh, I I'm always criticize some some way of of seeing the game because we have a lot of of tools uh, of analyzing of of trying to do some reports in all the. You know the platforms, all the everybody analyze everything, and I ask, but yes, but the quality of the game is better. Most of the time, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and this is what I ask myself. What's happened? We have everything. We have great technology. We have great analysis. We have the best condition physically, who is amazing because uh, we have Superman, super athletes. Huh? But and in the and the, the game, the quality of the game. Most of the times we don't do three, four, five touch together. It's only it's fighting, true. only, only one, yes, fighting, fighting duels. I, I, I don't know what kind of analysis I can do. Many times I don't know uh, because with some 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 uh, some work in defensive process, we we face all the problems. <laughs> this is my experience. I'm always always asking. Hey, Give me, give me new ideas. Give me a new opener. Huh? That you only. I, 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 I give you an example. Even in Shakhtar, in this moment, huh, we we change the paradigm of the, of the formation because we invest a little more in development, 
and we I put in my team is the B team. Uh, we have uh, six players, uh, uh, yes, six players of uh, one play with uh, 16 years old and uh, five players with 17 years old playing against guys with uh, 21 and, and uh, 24. And, and many times, my assistants, because they don't understand my work uh, in the beginning, they are, hey, oh, it's possible. We can fight with the great guys because uh, we, we are kids. Huh? What is the problem? The problem is about the ball. Uh, the ball is moving. If we move the ball, why we we, we must do the walls? Why we must put the, the, the physical? It's, it's not necessary. And with the time and with the work and with all our ideas, we begin. They begin to understand. Yes, if we don't use our ideas to play to play a, a, a connected game uh, to play in in a certain way, yes, we lose the ball and we must make duels. This is this is the 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 the, the big the big. Uh, the big challenge. question, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the big challenge is why we, we must uh, we must fight against the guys. No, we must we must uh, look at the ball, the, the situation of the game, the connections we have around the, the the ball, and yes, and wait for the open, but try to solve the problems with the with the with the ball, not with the physical. We know that football is is contact, uh, and no, I don't know about the coronavirus. How, how can we deal with the contact? But I'm waiting for for new ideas also. Uh, they, maybe we, uh, with with fly, we, we must put something for flying and try to 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 not touch the. But this is the 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 reality, and it's why for me, yes, you we can take information, uh, but the information I take for the opponent is for yes, I use some information, but most of the times I don't use anything. Uh, because okay. it's so easy, it's so easy to face the opponent to understand that that for me is not important. Most important, yes, is what I what we can do uh, with this kind of of the opponent. And my players are prepared about that uh, because we focus in the game, in the in the in, in the, the the connections. And it's it's why I ask many times. Really, in 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 our football, something is wrong. Something is wrong about the ideas. I know that the result is most important. We must fight with all tools we have, with all the weapons we have, because many times I think we go to, to the war, but it's not my vision. I don't go to the war. I'm going to play. And for playing, I need the opponent. If the opponent has good ideas, yes, it's good. And maybe I, I, I must be prepared. But most of the times, we use, uh, we use the information like an excuse for show some work. Huh? And when in the end of the game, many times we, we lose and we look at yes, what, what the analysis do uh, in the game. We lose because uh, we don't uh, make the analysis. No, many times we lose because we have a, a penalty, we have a own goal, uh, something exactly. that we cannot control. I think so it's fine. Not, if, if, thank, you, thank you for sharing that. So can I, can I assume or can I say that um, in resume, what you, what you do, so your principle, is to work your team so well so they understand exactly what they are doing and you train them in a way that they are ready for any kind of situation and when they all of them they know what to do so they they can have um how can i explain they can be uh, analysts in a way so they can understand what is happening inside the pitch and face that thing they are prepared for any single situation. That's your main principle. Yeah. Yes, I think I think this is most important of, of, of a coach because I can I cannot yeah. confuse my my players. And the, another, another situation for me is I don't I don't understand how to deal with that. To put some uh, some uh, behaviors in our team, it takes time. It takes time to, to create some uh, idea, uh, uh, the fundamentals of, of an idea to to. To put the the dynamic and the, they play connect it takes time. Why I can every day, every week change uh, because the opponent is different. Uh, I understand that, and and I know that many coaches win uh, only focus in the open. I know that, and I respect. I must respect. Okay, no problem. Uh, but the players are pleasure with this. What kind of, of, of players I have? Only players for face openers or play or, or players for playing and improve his career uh, and take some pleasure of the situation? No, 
many times we begin the, 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 the work with with some 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 person. I know that uh, we begin always uh, in the beginning of the week. Yes, we talk about the opening. All days we talk about the opening. If I am a player, I think is 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 it's not good. It's not for good. I have no pleasure. Okay, the opening is always the, the, the main the main uh, main worry of, of the coach. But uh, that's I don't true. Think. That's true, Fernando. And then I think I think I need to invite you one one day again, because because it's very very interesting what you are saying, and that is another subject that will be That's great to talk about. And it's very important in football, and it's it's for the good for football. Uh, Abel, thank you again for being analyzing and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, just one with question. Pleasure, with pleasure. Uh, we have a question in here. Uh, we have a question in here, right, from from Pedro. But <clears> I'm <throat> gonna make it in a second, Pedro. Um, thank you for the question. But I'd like to to ask just to not to to change too much the subject. Uh, just briefly, if you can just explain briefly. Uh, like I said, in these days we have many changes in the teams. Maybe you watch a, a team playing today. And in three months, is you watch again because you're gonna play in the cup or a different competition. The, the the manager changed, the principles change, the players are transferred, and also you have so much information, like you mentioned, that sometimes you are overloaded of information. So one of the most important things of analysts is understanding where to get the information and always to be, um, you know. Have, have um, to be to be you know um, understanding the changes that the other teams are are making, or do you think that's not important? For example, um, of course you work you work in a league like you work in the Spanish league. The um, the teams that you are going to play against, of course you have an idea, a general idea already how they play. Then you go analyze uh, more deeply. The, the way they play but for you it's it's important to know the ways to be always aware the changes they make usually and also like i said to ignore many times it's it's very important to ignore much information that we have like uh, like in, in everything in these days you know like we can talk about social media but we need to know where to find the the, the the good things or are not so good do you think makes sense that also it's a hard job sometimes to do to know where to find it or i think nowadays the problem is not to find the information but what do you do with the information in which is the information that is more important for me yeah. i think that are the the key points because uh, as the as the coach was telling before It's very when we are when we are building a, a, a game idea, we have to be very careful because the players, the players in the development of ideas are some is is something that needs time. And if you which we are always creating noises, noises and uh, interferences in the creation of that behaviors, that uh, that process will be longer. And, uh, and the players will not be comfortable in confidence of his own ideas. And the, the, the question of the variability of the opponent, if, if we can say like that, of the variability of the systems of the opponents, uh, it's true that nowadays we it's common to see team changing systems during the game or in different games. I think... I, I, I take it too as a challenge to my own team because if I have my own idea developer, if my team is developer to uh, face different context, for me, if the team the open it, it's in that system or in, in other system, for me, it's the same because I have resources as a team, I have principles as a team that my team is prepared to every context independently of the situation that is proposing the, the opponent. And that's why the first, uh, the first uh, thing that we need to prioritize is to build our, our game idea. Because 
Once you, we, we have a game, a game idea consolidated uh, and uh, incorporated by the players, uh, then we could manipulate some details, some details, but just little, the details, so principles. We never should change our macro principles, our game idea, our, our essence, our, our, our identity as a team. That, that what we sometimes should change are details, but if we are changing uh, macro principles by the opponent, uh, if we, we are changing things of our identity by the opening each week, we doesn't have an identity. We, we as a team, we'll have problems in our play, our players. We'll have a lot of problems in, in that type, kind of context because the, the football uh, is, uh, is that. The football is, is dealing with different contexts, but dealing with different contexts in a certain way. In that certain way, is your game model. Obviously, it's important that your game model has some variability. That's why the importance of your game model must be something uh, richness that has variability because if your team has many concepts, and for example, an offensive phase, that will be very important because you will have different resources to face different problems in defense of an organization. For example, a team that just play direct in, in, in their offensive phase, if a team is, is positioned and in cloud block waiting for that direct game position to the second balls, I think they will have some problems. Despite of a team that have the, despite of a team that true circulation, have concepts that uh, is able to move the, the rival from one side to side, is able to disorganize them, to create spaces, to exploit and attack that spaces. That's the, the for me, the key point that your team uh, have resources, have uh, uh, ideas that would uh, face uh, every, every context. Thank you. Thank you, Abel. Great, great answer. And the, the, the question from, from Pedro, it's for both of you because um, more for Fernando maybe, uh, that uh, how you link your opponent's analysis with your training plan. <laughs> so I think you already answered like, uh, you know, but, uh, but I think, um, yeah, if you want to just brief, uh, quickly answer, how, how do you link the, the opponent's analysis with your training plan? Do you do anything differently during the week or, or not? No, as, uh, as I, I said before, the most, uh, most important for me is the analysis I, I, I do for my last game and prepare, prepare the, the, the week program and the, the contents of uh, trying to improve some details about the last game. Eh? And many times yeah. in these games, we know that uh, uh, the improvement of these details uh, let us more prepare for the next game. And the, yeah. when, when we find this, uh, the, best, uh, the best day or the best way to, to show something about the next opponent for uh, my players, I tell Pay attention for this because the things we are training uh, about last game, we cannot do the same mistakes in, in the next game against this opponent because this opponent maybe can create some uh, some similar problems like the last game. And this, and this manage the, the situation uh, not to create uh, great confusion in my players, but preparing prepare the, the the player for the, this uh, this. Uh, this main small situation, small. Yeah. yeah, small situation. And uh, normally, I I don't uh, take, I don't uh, make difference, or and I, I I don't change my program uh, because they open. No, never. I never do that. I never, 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 never do that. But okay. in some details, yeah, we must uh, game by game improving uh, and be prepared for keep keep Something. going and uh, try yeah. to be more confident about the. Uh, what about this kind of problems? This is most important okay. for me. Thank you. Thank you, Fernando. Uh, we don't have much time, so I'd like to ask one more question to, to each one, and uh, if you can be briefly. And uh, Abel, do you agree or do you think 
it's it's the most important thing before you of course the um, you you do the opponent's analysis is to know very 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 well your own team your own player capacities and um, analyzing all of them that's the first step of course before you go to watch the opponents or or don't or do you think it's not so important for me what i for me the analysis of your own team is something that i think is the most important in of the process for me first comes your team your game idea your 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 players in the in the the knowledge that you have about your ideas the opponent comes in the secondary phase and always related with my game model I, as i was talking before so in general in a general way i i agree with, uh, on the, what you are talking uh, and about to in what you are saying my my first in what i prioritize is our your our our game analysis, our own team analysis, and our our uh, training analysis. Sure, I, I say this because, as you know, I'm, I'm I'm a scout. I'm more for the individual scouting, but uh, but for me, it's very important. First, understanding the players we have before we go to buy players, uh, you know, or to search players to know what we have home and uh, the potential they have to improve it's that's that's how it works also with a global analysis you know in a uh, team and uh, for fernando the, i'd like i'd like to ask you if um, during a match if it happened any time of course you have you have a lot of experience and um, you know the situations like you said you know uh, many times probably you can predict this situation is going to happen that comes with experience, matches and matches. But ever happened to you? Just you can just say yes or no. If came to you like um, some information, like in some moment of the match that you remember um, from something, some detail that the analyst told you before that you didn't pass to the players, and you and you do a decision based on that, if it makes sense on the match. Uh, uh, sorry, because I, the, the end of the, of the question, I okay. don't listen. If okay, I, okay. I know some details about the analyst, you tell me uh, during the game. Let's say, let's say the you get information from the analyst. Yeah, yeah. many times, of course, you don't pass everything to the players, or many times, you know, I'm not saying you ignore the information, but you think it's not so important. But during the map, because all the process, there is always. We try to avoid the mistakes, but sometimes in a process there can be a small information that we can only see in the match, and it's happening. And you remember something that the analyst told you. Um, did that ever happen to you, or never happened? No, no. Many times, many times during the game, yes, we we we, we pay attention for some situation that maybe. We are not doing so good, or maybe we don't expect this, or there are some changes in the game that uh, we have some some problems in in some some spaces or in some position. But we try to communicate and we try to, to solve as soon as possible with some indication of, uh, for um, for uh, inside the game. And, and maybe I call the captain and try to explain him some situation for for change in the game. I think it is it's easy many times to to uh, to change and and try and try to to uh, to improve the, some situation that is not so good uh, until now. But uh, normally, normally, I think that uh, the, the the players begin to understand the, the, the things. But, uh, and I use many times must be intelligence and uh, understand. Yeah. And if many times we don't uh, are confident about some situation. Yes, play simple or take the ball, long ball, and take solve the problem uh, yeah. uh, in the better way. But uh, I think this is what I call intelligence: is what you decide for you in the same contest. Eh? It's a good decision, okay? It's a good decision if you you decide to take the ball, long ball, and take the ball outside. Okay, it's a good decision because the, the team keep calm, 
and begin again and try to be uh, connected and, uh, and uh, keep going. Many. The most it will be the subject for 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 next time. Just to finish, I would like to again to 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 say thank you for both of you, and um, you do a great job, and you have my admiration, and of course everybody is watching, and it's interesting because uh, it's two completely different roles in football. Uh, Abel, it's it's more behind the scenes, so many is not so used to to be in front. In this case, in the camera. He does his work behind the scenes, and many times people don't don't understand the importance that he has. Many times he can know. Many times he knows that uh, uh, his contribution for the for the team is is huge in many many ways. But uh, he doesn't get the credits in the end. He gets for himself. That's very. That's a very. You need, you need to to be a very. To, um, you know, you need to be a person with the integrity uh, um, and understanding that you are not just you are you are for you are working for a bigger thing. You know what I mean? Is not working for yourself. And on the other side, Fernando, that it's very hard that he needs to give the face for the good and the bad decisions. You know, is <laughs> the first one to pay for the bad results. You know. And is the last one maybe to have the credit for the good results. It's a manager job many times, but um, but like he said, he's teaching players, and um, and this was very good. To and I'm 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 grateful that I it was me to join you guys without knowing. So I see that you like each other a lot. And uh, to finish, I'll just like to to say that after I don't know the. Please keep in touch, guys, because <laughs> it's always good to you guys keep in touch with good friends, like you said. And if you can leave an advice to, in this case, to someone, Abel, someone wants to be an analyst, it's pretty much the same because, you know, it's an advice just, uh, just if you can leave some advice and also you, Fernando, to people that are watching and, uh, and how important it is also to learn and to 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 also to to get education and to share some ideas and that's it well no no many thanks for the invitation once again man as advice for uh, the analyst i say start for the game start for the game start for understanding the game because uh, uh, by the understanding of the game they will find the answers for the other questions and be be proactive and uh, find solutions, find solutions and give solutions to the coaches because what they that's that's what they are looking for for solutions and and not for problems. Thank you for your your very good advice and uh, Fernando, please, if you yes, can give uh, an advice, you know that uh, the advice normally I I. I give to to young coaches is uh, the most important is uh, a passion uh, feel uh, because we listen a lot of things and but we must uh, feel what uh, what we listen and uh, some information if we don't feel this is important for us we must choose our way we must build our way and uh, and try to be to be able and uh, wake up to the unprepared and the open windows for the, for the every ideas uh, and try to 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 search the is is own own way it's what uh, i'm i'm doing but the most important as well says is uh, we must understand the game and we must uh, i think that the the main the main uh, work of the coaches promote the game and promote the players we must promote the game and many times we, we cannot promote the opponent we must promote the game eh? it is our we we are here for create emotions for the people who assist the the, the games and we make uh, do something that uh, that uh, we can take advantage uh, of uh, for for people and many times we we forget this yes we i know that we have a lot of coaches we have Football is uh, a world of uh, opportunities for everybody. I know many times it seems difficult, but uh, nowadays we have this uh, this kind of uh, of uh, tools to to share, to to put and uh, make some publications about uh, our work. 
uh, as I said, uh, I think sharing is important, is listen and uh, and uh, take take the best ideas of everything we do. And uh, in the end, I, I want to say, I want to, 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 to say and uh, to tell you, Nunu, say my, I'm, I'm thankful for this opportunity also. And you know that maybe I, I'm the coach who, who published more football in, uh, in Portugal. I have my, my channel in YouTube, the social nets. I've been always open to, to share. But for me, the most important, as Isabel said, is, uh, is, uh, improve the game, uh, the quality of the game and improve for have a good game. We must improve the quality of our players and for improving players, we must give them uh, the, the things they like and they have pleasure to do is playing, not only preparing, talking about openings or talk about physical questions or the, a lot of things, but playing, playing, yeah, I think is most important. And the, it's why I'm here with his age in Shakhtar. Because we fight for a, a different style. We the most important in our club is the style, is the way our players can show his, his performance. Um, yes, we want to win. Everybody wants to win. But the way we win can, can make the difference. And for me, it's the story of my life. Yes, I, I win, I lose as everybody. But the way I try to do the things, yes, it's my way. And I think is a way that uh, we must share and we must be, be always focused and try to do something different and many times why not innovate in, a, in the way we play and this what challenged me is all the times innovate in some in some details for the for the take advantage of it if i don't innovate if i i follow the rules of everybody maybe i don't stay here with this age and that's why i think everybody can make his own way uh, but he must feel what uh, they, they they do they must like they must start in love with uh, with this uh, profession. And the, if we only I stay in football, try to make some money or try some, but I don't have strong ideas. I think I have a short short life in in football. Okay, thank you one more time. Well, my friend, uh, I'm I'm gonna follow you. Maybe in one day you choose me for work. I work with you now. <laughs> you want to work with me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, your your cell that you have an uh, old guy in Shakhtar is a crazy guy, but uh, with good ideas. Okay, no, no, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks. thank you for the wise advices. And guys, I hope you enjoyed and uh, you had this this big opportunity to learn and even myself. Thank you, and uh, see you next time, hopefully. Okay, okay. Thank you. take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you.